Welcome to The Deciding Point, our Crack Rackets weekly breakdown of the biggest storylines going on throughout the tennis world. We're going to focus on the professional action this week. We had four fantastic tournaments delivering us some very fun results. With that in mind, here is one of our biggest storylines from the past week of pro tennis. Let's recap the ATP event we saw unfold in Buenos Aires. Diego Schwartzman became the first Argentinian man since David Nelbandian in 2008 to win a title on home soil. He knocks off Francisco Cerundolo in a straight set final and played some outstanding tennis all week long. And it's a huge week for Schwartzman considering his disappointment the prior week in Cordoba was knocked off early in the event for him to follow that up with the title here on home soil for him to get this victory in the final after he lost in last year's final it's a fantastic moment for Diego Schwartzman who really has played the best tennis of his career over these past 15 months I want to quickly talk about Francisco Serendolo who I've spent so much time praising over the past week on the mini break podcast really the past two months on the mini break podcast he's now 37 and 9 folks in his last 52 weeks and we've talked before about all of his challenger success down the home stretch of 2020 and to start 2021 challenger success matters folks because you look for Serendolo now with this final his first ATP level final he's up to number 112 in the ATP rankings and you know with the point system being as they are He's going to be protected as well. And now that he'll have the chance to maybe sneak into some more ATP level events, gain, have a chance to earn some higher degree, uh, a higher degree of points in the events he's playing, uh, I think it's only up from here for Francisco Serendolo. And no, unfortunately, he ended up a match short of becoming the first brother duo, his brother Juan Manuel winning the week before in Cordoba to win back-to-back titles on the ATP Tour. But you watch Serendolo play for five minutes. The forehand is an absolute weapon. He's rock solid on his backhand wing. He moves well, and he really thrived in with that Argentinian crowd. And of course, he is a man from Argentina, but the energy of the moment just seemed to help him raise his level all week long. This is a really exciting result for Serendolo, who unfortunately just didn't have the legs, didn't have the discipline against Schwartzman in the final. Schwartzman just worked him outer third to outer third and played so well in that final. And it's a credit, again, to Diego Schwartzman to earn this title. But it's been a really fun South American swing thus far. And obviously that swing continues here this week as we have another clay event. Christian Guerin looking to get his clay court season rocking and rolling this week. But fantastic result for Schwartzman. Fantastic result for Surindolo. And a very fun event down in South America.